crazy wing, bringing you the best in flying wings. It loops, it rolls, it flies faster than anything you've ever seen. It has everything you could possibly need. Guaranteed greatest flights, get it now. It will not be underflown. Crazy wing, its flights are insane. Flying wings don't need big boxes, so the crazy wing ain't got one. What you do get, however, is a decently packaged model with an easy to follow manual with lots of pictures and even servo and reflex gauges. Flying wings also don't have a lot of parts, and as you can see, there are only four major pieces. The very lightly built wing is nicely covered in transparent red monocoat with almost no wrinkles. I'll have to admit, it kind of looks like someone started building an ugly stick and gave up after finishing the wing. The ailerons are pre-hinged from the factory, so the first step is to simply cut out the servo arm templates for the recommended Futaba S3115 micro servos. These servos have low slop and a lot of torque. Start by marking the position on the hatch and then gluing the wood servo mounts to the bottom of this plate with epoxy. Use the template to help position the servo arms. Install the control rods and control arms. Then use a reflex template to set the neutral point. Once set, finish mounting the control rods. The battery box has a magnetic hatch and pre-installed blind nuts for the motor. Some slow drying epoxy is used to install it into the wing. Make sure you glue it with the battery hatch facing up. Speaking of the motor, the motor used is a 1000 kV 380 watt motor that is apparently used in a P-51 model. A short but wide outrunner that simply screws into the front of the battery pod. Once installed and hooked up, it's onto the vertical fins which are glued on and set to dry. The plane can be flown on 3S or 4S LiPo. But since I like to live on the wild side, I went with the higher voltage 4S from Flight Power. The radio was set up with the flying wing program and control throws as per the manual. Decals are peel and stick, but must be cut from the sheet. I made an artistic decision to go with an asymmetrical pattern, but I think it looks pretty nice, if I do say so myself. With the battery pack pushed all the way back to the rear of the pod, the CG was right within the limits. For hand launch planes, I always like to have someone else launch it for me for the first time. Launching at half throttle, she was off with ease. It did need a couple of clicks of elevator and aileron trim, but the reflex template did get me pretty close. Put putting about at partial throttle for a few laps, she was dialed in and flying great. So I decided to try a self-launch. Ha ha ha, that was left-handed. Low rate rolls are nice and mild, definitely a great setting for the first flight. High rates, however, rolls are very quick and about as fast as I could handle. Any faster, and the aileron stick turns into a randomizer. Loops are not quite as fast, and both high and low rates didn't seem to make much difference.
Yeah. Being a symmetrical wing, inverted flying is just as easy as upright. But at full power, the crazy wing is crazy fast. And will give scholar cats a run for their money. Full power climbs will put it into orbit. While it would fly fine on 3S, Adrenaline Junkies would definitely want to go for 4S. Warp speed, Captain. The Crazy Wing is a great little plane to throw around the sky. The Crazy Wing lets you go crazy. Nice. Anyone with experience in medium to high speed aerobatic planes will have no problem flying it. Well, it's my def deficiency, not yours. <laughs> <laughs>